this forum today helps us to learn more about the advancement in the field of manufacturing and technology by convening leaders from various manufacturing industries this conference focuses strategic collaboration and partnerships and alliances as we know are crucial for sharing best practices so i will now request mr vivek verma conference co chairman to address uh, all of us actually i was not really aware of what industry uh, 4.0 was until a few days back and then i started exploring uh, what exactly is this so it turned out to be a, a new name to a, a already existing practice that we are actually undergoing in our company in last 20 years and also in general in the country or in the globally also we are experiencing this uh, fourth revolution is somewhere connected to the internet this is uh, to liberate the humans from the intellectual labor that we don't do uh, things uh, which are repetitive in nature and we become more creative so we more focus more on problem solving so it is the time of uh, collaboration it is not the time of competition i think uh, all of us are experiencing a very high level of business growth and uh, uh, de-stressing the environment so that we become more creative and uh, many times this uh, arrival of ai and all uh, this technology it uh, says that it will make uh, more people unemployed so uh, we have to look at uh, if we are really uh, worried about employment or unemployment then we have to look back uh, how much hard work our forefathers were doing but we will be more creative we will be more rich we will be more peaceful so the whole world uh, has to work in collaboration and uh, this uh, both uh, physical and intellectual hard work uh, has to be replaced by more innovation and more peace in the society country like india is likely to become absolutely free from coal gas which is uh, coming from fossil sources or petroleum in next 10 to 20 years india is the country with lot of sunshine so we have lot of photosynthesis lot of carbon absorption it is likely to be converted into the green chemicals or uh, whether it is fuels whether it is chemicals polymers india is going to see a big revolution where the uh, biomass is not going to be burnt but rather converted into another form with very high percentage of efficiency efficiencies which are quite similar to the way petroleum which is also a crude which is also a bio based material but fossilized so uh, we are going to replace this crude with biomass and that is the revolution uh, which will happen every village will have farm every village has the biomass and this will be a decentralized uh, growth model so we have to produce good amount of food and the non food biomass is going to become available in every village and these uh, smes or small industries are going to be uh, coming up very soon and then they will be actually the new uh, source of carbon and chemicals and coming up out of the resource which is today is considered as waste but actually energy wise the food portion of the crop is uh, actually uh, much less than the non food portion of the crop and this is actually much much more valuable it will be the similar situation as we think uh, that like uh, data and voice we have seen last 20 years the telephone uh, the mobile phone when it arrived the main revenue source was mobile uh, the voice and now it is data so uh, the next in the agriculture when it combines with the modern technology new decentralized industry is going to emerge which is going to uh, which is going to make agriculture more relevant india is the right place because we have people we have sunshine we have temperature we have soil everything is uh, there and this is uh, uh, this is a very good sign that we are going to become green as well as the nature friendly thank you